Proverbs 1 says in 33, it says, The one who always listens to me will live undisturbed in a heavenly place, free from fear, confident and courageous. You will rest unafraid and, sh and be sheltered from the storms of life. If you will listen to me, fear causes you to disobey. How many times has the Lord said something to you that you were afraid? Or what about ministering to someone? There's a harvest out there. What about going to minister to someone? Oh, what if they don't want to hear me? Well, what if they do? You know, it's, it's this thing. God is saying, listen to me. You will live in heavenly peace. The enemy's after our peace. He's Jehovah Shalom. We're going to crush the head of Satan under our feet. We have a supernatural peace that's an unfair advantage in the world. We get this peace free. And it comes to our relationship and a meditation with the Lord. Now listen to this. We know this. The voice, I love this. Psalm 29, the voice of the Lord is powerful. It's full of, uh, the Lord's voice is full of majesty. We are his voice. So when we're speaking, it's powerful. Don't underestimate who you are. This one I love. Now you all were dancing up here. Listen to this. In Isaiah 30 in the, in the Passion, when, he stri when his rod when his rod strikes the Assyrians, they will be terror-stricken by the mighty voice of the Lord Yahweh. Every stroke of Yahweh's punishing rod will be to the sound of cymbals and strumming harps. God himself fights them in battle with dancing. Isn't that good? And it says the note there that he, uh, Brian Simmons had, it says this punishing rod will fall on the spiritual forces of darkness as we celebrate and dance in the victory of the risen Christ. See, that's the power of our dance. When we're dancing out and we're stepping out, listen, when you're sad and you choose to celebrate and dance, when you're battling with fear and you say, fear, you will not grip me, and I'm going to do that opposite of it, this is what happens. And we're decreeing the word of the Lord, and it says it's a mighty Mighty, mighty, powerful thing that we're doing, and it's a punishing rod beating the back of the enemy. You have to imagine that. Get that picture. So, oh Lord, you know, I'm going to worship you, but this is what's happening to my enemy. See, we have this ability. So what do we have to do to get free? I'm going to bring it to a close now. All right, first of all, you have to want it. Amen. I want freedom. Now, yeah. a lot of you may be free. I just want freedom. Amen. I want it. I, want, I don't want anything holding me back. I want freedom, Lord. And he says, no good thing will he withhold from those who walk uprightly. I want freedom. You think he's going to answer that? Yes. Meditate on the word. Obey the word. Choose to accept God's love. You have to love yourself. That's another biggie. If you don't love yourself, you're going to have a problem I'm receiving the you. love of God. And so it's okay. It's not vain. We need to love ourselves because you can't love your neighbor if you don't love yourself, right? Choose to forgive yourself. Ask God to uncover root issues. And we're going to pray and we're going to renounce some stuff, but renounce and break judgments, inner vows. Inner vows. Inner vows. You know, it's that determination. It's a, you said it. It's a determination set in your mind to protect you from pain. So we make these vows, I'll never let anybody get close to me, I'll never let anybody hurt me, I won't ever be afraid, I'm not going to put myself in a position to, be, um, uh, to, to have fear, right? So we have to renounce these vows. Just that, and if you don't remember them, just ask the Lord to show you what some of them would be. So that's really powerful because that keeps you bound, that keeps you locked in. And Jesus, you know, he's given us the tools for our freedom. So we're going to renounce and break word curses that we spoke over ourselves. And the enemy, like I said to you before, is fearful of us knowing our authority. Decree the word, the voice of the Lord shatters, and uh, we walk in a spirit of victory. Okay, so if you could stand, we're going, to, we're going to just pray and renounce, but we're also going to make a decree, okay? So this is just a sample prayer. That's all. You can pray it however you'd like, but... This is what I just wrote. So in, with this deliverance prayer, just say this. In Jesus' name, Jesus name. I come against you, spirit of fear, I you, spirit of and I bind your activity in my life. I declare I have repented of every known sin, and I submit myself to the Lord Jesus Christ. I totally surrender to you, Lord Jesus. And Lord, forgive me for doubt, unbelief, and fear. 
I also choose to forgive myself. I also choose to forgive myself. And, I myself and I release myself from any regret. And I choose to move forward. And I, to move forward. And I decree today that I am free in Jesus Christ. Fear you have no control over me. You are bound and you are under my feet. In Jesus' name. Oh, I renounce, break, and come out of agreement of any word curses I have spoken over myself. I renounce any inner vows. And I confess that I am redeemed by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Out of the enemy's grip. Spirit of fear, I speak to you and command you to loose me now. You have no legal right. Now get out in Jesus' name. And I command you to go now. Now, I want you to read this this. Uh, powerful declaration because you're free <laughs> you are free in Jesus you are free in Jesus now I want you to do this just blow it out it's a spirit fear it's a spirit it is blow a spirit. it out yeah blow it out tell it you you refuse for it to be in your body amen now father we say these spirits now open that door back there yeah tell these spirits to get, get out, out in Jesus name of your atmosphere get out Tell them to shut up. It's a up. spirit. Yes. Amen. And, and remember, you have to work at this thing. But now, this is my, our declaration because I couldn't leave it at that. Because we have to prophesy and decree who we are. So, I want you to say this. It's up there. It says, I, say this. I decree that God has commissioned me in this, you could say, in this new era... To be brave, courageous, victorious, and more than a conqueror. I am secure, confident, and centered in the unconditional love of my Heavenly Father. I know who I am in Christ, and I am led by the power and the presence of the Holy Spirit in my life. I decree I am filled with the supernatural dunamis power of God. Standing on the promises of God, I am brave, battle-ready, well-equipped, heavily armed with spiritual weapons, a fierce and fearless warrior. I decree that I am a giant slayer and will not back down from any uncircumcised Philistine. I am faith-filled. Defeat and fear have no place in me, and I decree that fear is under my feet. I decree... I am strong in the Lord and in proper alignment in the body of Christ. I know my tribe and execute my part with dedication, determination, and discernment. I operate with the Issachar anointing, understanding times and seasons. I am a powerful prophetic voice, and when I decree a thing, it shall be established. My words and my worship are weaponized for his kingdom purposes, and I decree that in Christ I am unstoppable dread champion. Amen. Amen. Wow.